<clears throat> there we go. Gentlemen, we are live. Body language mastery signups have been absolutely insane. Um, completely smashing all the records before. Boy, oh boy, are you guys in for a treat. Guys, you think I'm playing, but I'm not. You have one day, 12 hours, and 55 minutes, and Body Language Mastery is closed forever until quarter three, where the price will go up from 397 to 497 If you think I'm playing, try me. Try me. Guys, Tons of people have been signing up. I can't even, I can't even explain. I mean, this is this is a huge, huge jump for the world. Um, for those of you who are not signed up yet, get in while you still can, because I am telling you right now that this is going to be absolutely unbelievably amazing for you. Um, there, just the the outpour of support from all the other content creators, the tons of guys that are slamming me on Instagram, on Skype, on the um, Facebook, on Twitter, my emails, both my emails are lighting up. Absolutely unbelievable the amount of feedback that is coming my way, positive feedback. Um, good Lord, this is really is an amazing thing. And I'm building an army. This is just phase one of modern life dating. Wait, wait until we get to phase two and phase three. The guys who take action now, I guarantee you, if you follow through with me to the end, you will have all the riches and all the bitches that you desire. Mark my words. If you're a hater and you don't like it, Go ahead and get the fuck out. Go watch some MGTOW channel. Go watch some black pill shit. Go watch some incel shit. This is this is not for you. Because at the end of the day, I'm here to work with winners. I'm not here to work with crybabies. I'm not here to work with little Nancy boys. I'm not here to hold your hand. I'm not here to feel sorry for you. I'm here for the men who have the brains to realize that they want a change in their life. They know that they need to take action, but they're a little lost. I am the guy who will guide you there. Okay? I was on Richard Cooper's channel, 194,000 subscribers. Richard doesn't just let anybody on his channel. I was on Donovan Sharp's channel yesterday. We did Rule Zero. Got the support of Rolo Tomasi, the whole nine yards. Um, it's just, it's unbelievable the amount of support that has been coming through. And we got guys who are like high-level players like Muhammad and James. James right now with the $5 Super Chat says, The content is fantastic. I'm going through it now. Get off your butt and get signed up. You want something different? Do something different. And Muhammad is dating a girl that is a former Miss Argentina. All right? And he's going through the course right now and he's like, I cannot believe... I have been missing all of these cues. And he's just thinking, he said he was ignorant. I was like, no, nah, you're not ignorant, bro. It's just, it is what it is. Um, that being said, let's take a look at what it offers. One last time until tomorrow. The Body Language Mastery Course from Modern Life Dating is coming out June 28th this month. This course is going to show you how to understand a female's body language on a date and give you the confidence to know what she is thinking and feeling just by observing her body. The course includes 40 gestures total, 
both positive and negative. This course will increase your closing rate by at least 10%. In addition to that, after you are signed up for the course, there will be two daily webinars for three weeks following the course for you to attend with all your questions about the course. Absolutely free, and that is a $1,000 value. And last, you will be added to a private men's-only group that will be supporting you as you educate yourself on this journey. There is limited enrollment. That's right. Enrollment will only be one time per business quarter, so you do not want to miss out. Body Language Mastery by Modern Life Dating is being released on June 28th. To learn more, go to Modern Life Dating forward slash body language. Sign up for the email waiting list and you'll automatically receive updates about the course and your chance to enroll. Today is July 1st. Tomorrow is July 2nd. Tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Registration closes. All right. It closes. It will not be open again until quarter three. And the price will be $497 in quarter three. Get in now, guys. What does it include? It includes the head-to-toe breakdown of the female body language. And if you guys feel like you like you like the content and you want to call in right now and talk about it real quick, go ahead, 657-383-1318. I've got a coffee. I want, I want it for free at the convenience store because I'm a winner. And I'm ready to go. This show is going to be long and good because this show... I've got seven steps to greatness right here. And the 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 whole thing is it, it's 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 if you don't take these action now, success loves speed. If you don't take action, if you don't make the jump in your life to make something happen, it's never gonna change. If you hate your life now, you gotta do something to change it. And if you don't do something to change, you just gotta either A, get used to your shit life, or B Take action and change it. That's really what it is. Um, somebody says Thursday is July 4th. No, did I say Thursday? I'm going to say Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, yeah. So, Muhammad says, look at this. Fresh animated background, theme tune, t-shirts. The man is continuously evolving. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, the t-shirt is just because if I wear the robe right now, it's Japanese summer. If I wear that robe, oh boy, I'm going to be burning up. I'm going to be on fire and covered in sweat. So again, guys, right there, links in the chat, modernlifedating.teachable.com forward slash body language right there. I want somebody to sign up during the show. Um, I want to see it. I got the alerts on my phone. I want to see somebody take action right away. And for you guys watching on the replay, go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Scroll down. Click on this link right here. And boom, this will redirect you to the link I put in the chat. Click right here. Enroll in course. Okay, just because you sign up doesn't mean anything. You have to actually enroll. Once you enroll, you're in. One day, 12 hours, 47 minutes, and it's game over. So you do not want to mess around. Get in. Stop procrastinating. Now is the time to make this happen. A quick announcement. Uh, so a lot of people... Let me ask you, when that animation is playing, is there, is there music playing with that animation in my background? Um, let me know. Oof, that coffee's strong. Whoa. Good Lord, I'm not going to bed anytime soon. Um, 
God, that's strong. Jesus in heaven. No wonder they fucking giving it away for free. Ah, good Lord. Um, but yeah, good Lord. That threw me off my, my, my game there. I don't even know what I was singing. Um, but yeah, guys, get in, get into body language of mastery before you, um, oh, you do hear it. Okay. Oh Lord. Oh, is it, is it disturbing? There's music. Okay. Um, and Peter, very, very, uh, good analysis. Peter says that that scene of the back alley is not in the course. It's not in the course yet. That's actually behind the scenes stuff that I'm going to add in. Uh, yeah, Peter, my bad. No, I got I got I got to read that clip. I'm still, uh, you know, messing with this, uh, background. Do you guys, uh, do you guys want me to go back to the moon instead? Should we do the moon one? I, I could do the moon. Um, but anyways, let's jump into today's episode real quick, guys. Um, follow me on Twitter right here at modern life, John J O N where I constantly troll George Bruno. As you can see, he made the headlines recently. Old men yells at cloud. <laughs> I said, if anybody could forward this message to George Bruno, right? Cause George Bruno has me blocked. <laughs> I don't know why I never even said anything to this old fool. Uh, if anyone can forward this message to George Bruno, tell him I'm extending an olive branch. I would like to have him on the show to voice his grievances. I truly have no idea why he blocked me or got mad at me. And then old man yells at the cloud because that's what he's doing every day. He's out there yelling at the clouds. Um, so he's got that going for him. Be sure to follow me there. Oh, Christian, what's up, man? You get into body language this time around? You said you were going to do it this quarter. Are you going to procrastinate again? You need pictures of naked women in your background. That would be nice, but then I'd get banned. Then I get banned off of YouTube, and that would not be fun. George Bruno in the hizzle. All right, guys. So feel free to call in today, 657-383-1318. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of emails about guys asking me, hey, I've got the course, I've got the course, but how do I get into the Facebook group? If you paid attention, which you didn't, but that's okay. If you, pay, uh, if you paid attention, you should know that – I have to screen you before you get into the Facebook group. I need to know who you are. Some of you guys already got consultations. It is what it is. Um, I know who you are, but I'm doing it from July 9th. So keep an eye on your email. Okay? Keep an eye on your email. So far, 67 people have signed up. Historically speaking, the last day is the day with the most signups. So 67 people are now in Body Language Mastery. I'm very proud of those 67 men. Believe you me, I will change your life. This will be the best. This will be the best $400 you've ever spent. And I'll make sure you make it back tenfold. Um. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an amazing time, an amazing session. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Today, we're going to talk about how to get whatever you want in your life. Okay. Jacob Odom says, I think I might buy the body language package. I think you should get your ass in there and stop being on the fence. Guys in the chat, why don't you tell him? Tell Jacob why he should get into the body language course. Um, Russian guy, I can't reply to you. Your name is in Russian. I, I tried to reply to you before I saw you in the other chats. Um, he says, looks like you don't know what to talk about except of your body language course. Well, if you were watching me from the beginning, you would know that, you know, I've been promoting this, and now it's promotion time. And I only promote it five days per quarter. So if you don't like it, man, I mean, you can leave. Believe me. You can leave. Uh, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. I'm sitting here giving you free fucking information. You're going to be like, oh, all you're talking about is a body language course. Hey, just because you don't want to pay the money or you don't have the money doesn't mean that there's guys still on the fence that need to be convinced to get in. They need to be sold. That's what I'm doing. Is George Bruno gay? Yes. 
Um, let me just read the chat real quick, and then we'll get started with today's lesson. Uh, Eric Von Weddle, what's up? Scruffy Turd, what's up? Dread, Dread Pirate Robert, what's up? Christian Martin, what's up? Scruffy Turd, Trophy Dolphin, what up, man? Muhammad, my man. Muhammad, I, you are my boy, dude. You are my boy. I, I feel like if I needed to get rid of a body, you would help me. <laughs> Peter, you Peter too. Peter would plan out the logistics of disposing it. <laughs> oh, Rob Cruz, what's up? He says, the hardest working man in the Manosphere, MLD. Yeah, I've been on the air eight days in a row now. I am fucking exhausted. James Miller, the super rich, super pimp with a great set of cool pit bulls, man. I envy those pit bulls. I want dogs so bad. Uh, Garrett, what's up, big dog? Um, Russian man, is is wit, in which channel Rule Zero will appear? It will go from channel to channel. So you can complain on my channel. Then you can complain on Rolo's channel. Then you can complain on Ryan's channel. Then you could go to Rich's channel and complain over there. You can evenly distribute. Uh, you know, you could do complaint distribution, redistribution of complaints. It'd be good. I'm getting a little too much of an influx with complaints here. Go complain otherwise elsewhere. Ivor, what's up? Ivor was actually able to meet Big Googs. <clears throat> Elijah, what's up? Again, Vince Vale, what up, baby? Tony, my man, what up? Went through a couple of modules again over the weekend. I'm still extracting info. Good stuff. You, you got this, bro. You're smart. Mr. Jackson, what's up, big dog? I see you watching all the shows, man. Oh, CJ, my man. What up, brother? Edgar, what up? Uh, Christian Gonzalez, what's up? Christian, you told me you were going to get body language mastery quarter one. You did it. You put it off to quarter two. What's going on? Are you getting in? I know you got your hose. Make up pay for it. <laughs> well, I hope you're doing okay with your goals and everything, moving out and you know sorting yourself out. Uh, Jay Parker, what's up? I feel like you're new here, sir. Um, Vince Vale, Monday, Monday dating. Are you feeling better? You sound better. Um, I woke up today at like 6... I woke up today like 3 p.m. because I pulled an all-nighter, slept from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., and then I um, went back to sleep around 5 to 9. So, yeah, I'm getting better. I think Jake, Jacob Odom says, I think I might buy the body language package. You should. Get in there, buddy. Guys, don't be like me. Do the screening early. Welcome to the 67 winners. Yeah, Tony, you missed the webinars. You can get in on the webinars, though. Um... Count Yoli, what's up, baby? Perish the man. Uh, Rainier Lopez, what's up? I haven't seen you around. Rainier, you said you were going to get in too, quarter two, so you got to get in. Super Gecko, what's up? Conk, what's up, man? Conk with the speed fingers. I'll let you guys think about what that is. All right, guys, what's going on? Thank you guys all for showing up. Let's get started, shall we? Old man screams at clouds. Old man screams at the clouds. That is our boy, George, the Sultan of Salty, Bruno. Salty like the tears he cries every night. Sent you payment confirmation as ass. Okay. Uh, all right. I, I feel like, uh, okay, I got you. No worries. I think I know who you are. I'm, I'm just, uh, uh, I, th I think you, yeah, we, we, we worked it out. I think I got you. Garrett says, going to be right back. I'm going to go make some coffee. Make that coffee, baby. Guys, 42, look, 42 viewers, 19 likes. Please smash that like button. Let's jump right into it. Guys, how to get what you want in life. I'm hyped, so I'm hitting the desk, okay? And the phone lines are open, 657-383-1318. I've got my list here. I've got my list. We've got seven steps to greatness, okay? And for all you crybabies, all right? Christian Soda, what's up? For all you crybabies, this involves work. So if you don't want to do any work, now's the time to get the fuck out of here. Go watch some Barney videos. Go wax your asshole. Whatever the fuck you got to do because today's episode is for men only. All right? This is an episode that is going to change your life if you follow the steps. I don't give a shit how old you are, what fucking excuses you have, none of that bullshit. 
If you take action, you will get results. Most of you guys know if you watch my show, okay, you watch my origin stories, you know that I came from abject poverty, super abusive household when I was young, never met my father, raised by a single mom, raised by four crazy as fuck uh, Cuban nannies, raised by uh, another single mom, which was my mom's mom, abused by my cousins, constantly beat up, psychological trauma, the whole nine yards, yet here I am, okay, rocking like a hurricane, motherfucker, living the dream, financially set, sexually set, healthy as a fucking ox. I got a little cold right now, but that's it. I am killing it. I am killing the game, and it's because I implement these seven things that we're going to go through right now. Number one, as you guys know, right? As you guys know, in my wallet, you fuckers know what's in my wallet. Clear as day, you know what's in my wallet. If you take the time to come out to Tokyo and meet me, I will show you what's on the paper. But all you guys know that in my wallet here, okay, is my personal declaration of independence, my constitution, my letter of demands that I give to the world. Demands, not request, demands. I demand this from my short time on this planet, okay? I have my goals here written down on this paper. And that's what number one is. Number one, clearly define what you want. Clearly define what you want and write it down. Write it down so it is anchored in reality and anchored in your mind. Guys, if you do not clearly define what you want, then you are not going to get what you want. I, I got in consultations with some guys, and they just get on the consultation. And they say, okay, what are, we, what are we supposed to do? I'm like, what are we supposed to do? What do you want? What do you want? And a lot of guys are just directionless, floating through life, Okay floating i'm getting i'm getting hyped i gotta take off my rolex i'm gonna fucking scratch this thing i'm with flailing my arms around um you know they come to me and they say well you're you're supposed to tell me what i'm supposed to want right you're supposed to give me the plan no that is up to you okay it is up to you It is not up to anybody else. The clearer you can define what you want, the more accurate you can be in targeting what you want and going after it. For example, all right? For example, you could say, I want to be strong. What is strong? In Japan, if you can bench 135, a lot of people will think you're strong. In America, 135 is the baseline. That's just that's just like, okay, you're not a complete wimp in the gym. Like you are baseline muscle man. All right? A ship with no sails get gets taken off into the sea and consumed by nature, by the whims of the wild. You need direction, okay? If you want to be strong, what is strong? 135 
bench pressing 135 is strong in Japan. In America, that's baseline, okay? What is a better idea? I want to be 195 pounds of lean body mass. I want to bench press 225 pounds, five reps. I want to be able to squat 415, and I want to be able to deadlift uh, 500. Concrete measurements. Concrete and absolute measurements. Okay? That is what's important. Clearly define what you want. Not, I want to be rich. I want to make my money from the internet. I want a girlfriend. You want a girlfriend? What if a 500-pound fucking Mongolian bitch with palms the size of your face is like, hey, 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 hey. I'm ready to make some babies, you know? She wants to be your girlfriend. That's what you want for a girlfriend? You see, your life most likely sucks because your way of thinking sucks. And again, today's episode is not it. Listen, guys, it's Angry Monday, all right? This ain't the this ain't today's ain't this ain't the fucking feel good episode. This is the episode that starts your fucking loser ass week off right. If you're a guy that's not taking action, that's not making changes in his life, that's not where he wants to be in life. That's today's episode. And if you're a little sensitive Sally, go fuck off. Go listen to the fucking Snowflake song because I'm just getting started. You have a shit life because you have no direction. You have no discipline. You have no dedication. And if you don't have any discipline, you don't have any dedication, you don't have any uh, direction, okay? Women are going to be repulsed by you. Women want a man that's going somewhere. My girl would fucking shoot somebody for me if I had to ask her to do it because she is down for the cause she is team modern life dating hide a body for my man pull a trigger blow somebody's fucking brains out she's loyal she is loyal to the fucking cause because she was directionless when i met her i have given her a purpose okay and she's been with me my, my girl lives on the other side of japan my girl pays five hundred dollars a month to come see me. And she's been doing that for three years. Okay? That is the power of being a man with direction in his life. You guys sitting around crying, feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, hey, man. Oh, it's been a real tough day. Huh? I've just, I live with my mom and she pays all my bills. And, oh man, I'm just, life just sucks. No, motherfucker. Life is awesome. You suck. Your mindset sucks. Your approach to life sucks. That is the harsh reality that I'm bringing you today. And if you do not clearly define your goals you'll never fucking get there if you don't have the drive okay if you don't have the drive to set goals to make it fucking happen guess what you gotta get used to fucking working for somebody else you're gonna be working for somebody who has dreams if you don't chase your dreams is a popular saying if you don't chase your dreams you're gonna end up working for somebody who is chasing theirs, okay? And I'm not talking shit because I'm on my fucking grind. I've got my purpose. I'm building my kingdom, okay? What me and Charlie from Cultivate Crypto are about to pull off, this is going to be global gangster shit. We are in the beginning stages of something. But not if, when. Charlie and I pull this shit off. We are both going to be globally known 
multimillionaires. And it's not for the money because we have a great idea that is going to help humanity. And when you have a great idea that helps humanity, do you know how the marketplace works? The marketplace gives you money to show you your value. You bring a good service to the marketplace, you get financially compensated. And it looks like we took a 10 viewer drop right now. And I fucking love it. I fucking love it. I hope that you're, if you're on the fence of leaving right now, I just want to let you know you are a fucking bitch. All right. If you're on the fence of leaving right now, you think about clicking away, you're a little bitch. And I want you to fucking click away because I don't want to work with little weak minded fucks. All right. Today is Man Monday. Okay, today I am dropping fucking truth bombs left and fucking right. This message is not going to save you, but this message is your fucking salvation from your shitty lifestyle, your shitty mindset, your shitty outlook on life. Today is the fucking day, motherfucker. Today is your day of reckoning. Number one, clearly define what you want. I want to be rich, shit. I want to make $100,000 a month net profit from income source X, Y, Z. I want to make $100,000 a month from signing oil contracts to Middle Eastern fuckers every single month. I want to make $100,000 a month net profit from signing my digital marketing agency and making ads for all these companies. I want to, I want to make... $200,000 a month from my hotel properties that I have in Hawaii, Florida, Las Vegas, and Tokyo. Clearly define what you fucking want. New, you want to get a girl. I want to have sex with one new girl ages 19 to 34 per week for the next year. Do it. That's how you get what you fucking want. Number one, clearly define what you want. Is anybody, are there any feelings hurt yet? Are, are, we, all, are, we, all, are we okay? Are my, little, my little princess is okay? I know the men out there can fucking tolerate this verbal abuse because that's what you fucking need. James Miller with another $5 donation, sir. Thank you very much. This is, I got a chick in Grand Cayman. She flies to see me at least once a month. I vacation down there in her giant home on the beach. It's a great setup. James, you are a fucking gorilla pimp. I cannot wait to see you in the fucking webinars, man. These guys need to learn from you. James Miller is killing it. I'm not going to say how much money this man is making, but probably more than you. And he is doing very well. And I'm not talking $100,000, okay? He's making way more. Irish Bateman is the man too. He knows what's up. Number two. Okay. Number two. You have to define a strategy to achieve what you want. Okay. This is a concept I like to say, pay yourself every day. Okay. Pay yourself every day. You need to define a strategy to achieve what you want, okay? If you want to get six-pack abs, then you need a fitness plan, okay? You need a fitness plan. You need a diet plan. Probably need a personal trainer or a digital personal trainer, right? You can go to our fucking local dude, uh, Myron Gaines from Unplugged Fitness, Go to him. Holler at him. He's in the Facebook group. He's the body language master group. He's making well over six figures and starting a fucking internet business and still murdering it in the fucking sex game too. 29 years old. Good looking guy in Miami. No excuses. No excuses. Murdering the life game. With some of you guys sitting at home. Oh man, life is so hard. <laughs> Make me fucking sick. Literally. That's probably why I got sick dealing with all this fucking bullshit. Okay? You're a fucking man. 
You could do anything. You're the most supreme being on this planet. Man is the best animal on this fucking planet. And you are one of them. And you're sitting there crying like a little fucking bitch, feeling sorry for yourself. And guess what, asshole? Nobody's coming to fucking save you. Nobody. Not a single fucking soul. And you don't want to be saved. Okay? What are you, a little princess in a castle? You know, you're going to let down your little hair and they're going to climb up and fuck you in the ass and take you away and save you? Or are you a fucking man? Number two, you have to define a strategy for what you want. If you want to get good at cryptocurrency, all right, for example, set aside one to two hours a day of studying and practicing cryptocurrency. If you want to get in good shape, you need to be going to the gym one to five times per week, isolating certain areas of your body and working out with a balance of muscle training and cardio for your heart health. And you don't even you don't that's just not that's just not a recipe. There are multiple ways to get in shape. There's the five by five strong lifts. There is fucking CrossFit. <clears throat> There's traditional body lifting, you know, just doing the big three on a, on a five-day rotation. There are multiple ways to do it, but you have to get a strategy, okay? You have to get a strategy to achieve what you want. You have to plan out the strategy. I don't care how fucking incompetent you are, okay? I don't care how dumb you think you are. Just start. Okay, because what's going to happen is you're going to evolve into number three. Okay, so let's do a recap. Are you with me? Do you have your fucking crayons out? Number one, clearly define what you want. Okay. Number two, define a strategy to achieve what you want. All right. Want to date with a bunch of bitches? You better set up seven different dating profiles and start farming, number farming, one hour a day, plus going out to social events, creating a social life, all right, and sourcing women and dating a bunch of women. And believe you me, you'll get tired of that because once you master that, it's all said and done. You'll want to move on to something else. Then number three, number three, my Japanese neighbors are probably terrified, by the way. Thanks for getting me riled up, you fucks. I love the guys that stay and that could take this, okay? And this, this doesn't matter, you know, we got a globally diverse channel here. This doesn't matter where you are. This doesn't matter who you are. If you can get up and fucking walk... All right. If you could get up and fucking walk, thank you, Black Steve. Um, you can pull this off. Is it hard? Yes, it is very hard. You know what's harder? Going through life being a fucking loser. That's what's harder. Number three, execute your strategy. Six days a week. Execute your strategy three, or excuse me, number three, execute your strategy six days a week. All right? Guys, who here thinks I would like to grow my YouTube channel in order to grow my reach, in order to help more men to get more signups for Body Language Mastery before this fucking year is over because the program is done at the end of this year because I'm going to be way on, way on to bigger and better things with my time. And I told you at the end of this year, this year, 2019, is the modern life dating year of mercy. My lowest prices... The most time I'm giving to you guys, this is the fucking year that I'm telling you schmucks 
to take action now for those that you have not taken action. Because as I grow, as my intelligence grows, as my digital marketing skills grow, as my audience grows on multiple platforms, my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and email list plus site traffic are all blowing up at exponential rates. Okay, come 2020, with the combination of what's happened with Bitcoin, the show might get reduced down to one day a week. But right now, who thinks I'm executing my strategy? Who thinks that I'm fucking sitting here seven days a week, eight days a week, nine days a week, nine days at a fucking row, pumping out content absolutely for free? What do you think I'm doing that for? Because I got no fucking friends. I got no bitches. I got no time. Nobody wants to see me. Nobody wants to fuck me. Nobody wants to hang out with me. Is that what you think? I'm just sitting here, Captain Incel? Fucking Captain of the Loser Squad? Is that is that really what you think? No, I'm executing my strategy. Every single fucking day. Every day. Starting in July, I'm doubling down and I'm going to start live streaming in real life footage on Twitch and on YouTube during the daytime and come at nighttime and do the show. Why? Because I'm building. I have a strategy. I have a goal. It all starts with this right here, number one, define what you want. Number two, create your strategy, which I'm doing right now. Number three, execute your strategy six days a week. I kind of take a, a soft day off on Saturdays or Sunday. But even on those days, I'm still doing consultations. Okay? I'm still doing consultations. I'm still doing Mom, it says MLD anger level equals total Arab on the anger o mirror. O -meter. I, Arab anger is pretty good. I'll take it. Um, and then Rob, Rob Cruz says, MLD, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel of the red pill to the poor, the no ass getting simps, and to show mercy to those who want to learn. The book of Jonathan. All right. Eli Arrington says, MLD is a beast. Thank you very much, Eli. The bo look, the bottom line is here. A lot of you guys are bitch asses. Not a lot, you know, if you're if you're in body language mastery one or or you got into body language mastery two, you're not a bitch ass. But you guys that are sitting around who don't have your shit sorted out, who are, who are kind of going from one level, one, one one YouTube channel, you come and you're watching, and then you're going out you're working some loser ass job you're bullshitting yourself into thinking that you're doing something productive which you're not okay some of you guys are driving uber driving lyft that's fine if you need to get on your feet for one to two months but anything longer than that that's a fucking loser job okay that's a loser dead-end job that will be wiped out by automation and you're putting all your eggs in that basket You guys don't want to take action. Oh, I'll I'll book, I'll get into I'll, I'll get into body language mastery next time, or I'll take it. I'll take action tomorrow. I'll, I'll write down my goals tomorrow. I'll book a consultation another day. Uh, I'll go to college for a fucking STEM job next year. I'll just keep living at home with mommy and, and sucking on her tit of fucking wealth. Makes me sick. Makes me fucking sick. If I had rich parents, I'd be the president of multiple companies by now. I had to grind my way from the bottom to get where I am. Execute your strategy six days a fucking week. No excuses. Zero fucking excuses. All right? What's worse? Feeling bad about your job, feeling bad about your shit and slowly suffering, but knowing that that suffering is forever? Or you execute your strategy. It's going to be hard, yeah. But anything that is hard is not hard. 
harder than being a fucking loser for the rest of your life. Okay? Look at our man Rob Cruz. Did military, did police 20 years each. Now he's collecting double retirement. I think Rob Cruz is late 40s, early 50s, living life on easy mode. And yet there's still schmucks out there slaving away mid 40s, early 50s because they made bad choices in life. And hey, listen, man, I got to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's you. I'm sorry if that's you. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Life sucks, but I have to say I have I I can't I can't fucking filter my message of truth for the sake of your feelings. So, you got to get with the program or you got to get out the fucking door. If you're not executing 6 days a week, I don't feel sorry for you. You deserve to have a shit life because the life of a high performer, okay? The life of a man who lives in that top 20% like me is an awesome fucking life. But I work my fucking ass off to get here. And let me tell you something. I work my fucking ass off. I have whatever I fucking want. Okay? I got my $20,000 Rolex. I love it. I'm shopping for houses right now, which I'm going to turn into some badass fucking rental property that's going to be bringing me in anywhere between three to $6,000 net profit a month on fucking easy mode. 33. I'm a fucking dinosaur in the pimp game. But I'm still winning and I'm still executing at a high level. I'm still building. And most importantly, I'm reaching out and giving back to the men that did not, that the men that I see, I see myself in you guys that did not have this help. For you guys that fucking suffered, that you guys had no father, you had no fucking guidance, bad excuse after bad excuse, bad fucking uh, circumstance after bad circumstance, that is what I am doing. Okay, I'm passing it forward to you. Goddamn, Rob Cruz is 42. 40 fucking two. You are still young, dude, and you're retired at 42, making a killing. Not working for anyone. Unbelievable. 42. Dude, I'll be 42 in nine years. I guarantee you I will still be horny. When I'm 42. Rob Cruz, do you want to fuck a lot of broads right now? Because I'm pretty sure you do. And I'm pretty sure you have time and money to do so as well. But you don't take any fucking action. You don't execute your strategy six days a week. You're going to suffer. Guaranteed, long term, you will suffer. Check out the book, Unscripted, by MJ DeMarco. That is your life if you don't take action to change and live life on your terms. Whatever it may be, the purpose of life is to live a fulfilling life. I just happen to like a lot of money and a lot of bitches and going to the gym and cracking some fucking skulls open in my dojo when I train martial arts. I just happen to like it. I happen to be good at it. When I do stuff that I'm good at, when I do stuff that I want, when I achieve goals that I want, I feel very happy. It's a spark of joy. I live a fulfilling life. I just spent two weeks in bed with an, um, a girl that fucking adores me. Stayed here for two weeks. I didn't do shit. I didn't cook. I didn't clean. I didn't fucking wash myself. Okay? I live like a king. And if you're angry with that, the problem is you. It's not me. I live this life because I imagined this life and I executed my strategy. And now I have the life of a fucking literal king. Okay? Pump back 500 years ago, I'm living like a fucking king. Execute your strategy six days a week. James Miller, James Miller, another, James Miller's so rich, he's just throwing $5 super chats around like nothing. Thank you, James. It says, uh, gents, I'm buying a gently used Mercedes C63 AMG. That is nice. Doesn't break the bank. Super clean, super pimp, second car, big V8, my dream car. Dreams come true. James Miller, you're the fucking man, bro. Thank you so much. 
Rob Cruz with the twenty dollar donation. Thank you very much, Rob Cruz. Says, listen, MLD. I wish I had this at uh, at your your age, like you guys. Do the work now. Reap the benefits later. Absolutely, I know what I'm talking about. No, this guy's taking action. And again, right there, uh, looks like uh, I believe uh, one of the guys in the chat got in. There's a link right there for Body Language Mastery. This shit closes um, on July second at eleven fifty nine p.m. So. Get in while you still can. I think Jacob uh, Jacob Odom said he got in. Let me double check. Let me see if he's talking shit. I'll pull it up right now, Jacob. See if you got in. You'll be the number two Jacob in the squad. You have to report to Trophy Dolphin. He's the alpha, Jacob. Yep, Jacob Odom got in. All right, you're in, buddy. Good, good, congratulations. And it looks like... Uh, I don't know if Benjamin is the one watching, but Benjamin R... Looks like he also signed up for the course. Um, good stuff, Benjamin. <clears throat> Let's get back to the show. Um, yeah, Rob Cruz, James, man, Rob Cruz. I know you don't want to join the course because you don't need to, but I, I, you know, let, talk to me. Send me an email. Let me see if you can get into the webinars because Rob Cruz, I don't know if you want to get on camera or not, but these guys can can learn from a man like you. Execute your strategy six days a week. There's a reason I say six days a week. You can't go seven days. You just can't go seven days. Dan, webinars start July 9th. Read the fucking emails. Um, the... The... Um, all right, guys. Interview time. Good luck, Scruffy Turd. Come back. Come back to us. Let us know how you did, man. We're here for you. We are your digital brotherhood. S seven days a week, you will you will wreck your body. Okay. Seven days a week, you will wreck your body. You need one day to take that time off. You just need one day. Um, seven days a week fucks you up. Seven days in the week in the gym fucks you up. Seven days a week grinding. Long term, it's not good. You need rest. Don't believe these fucking idiots who say, oh, grind, grind, grind. Fuck your health. None of that. Let me tell you something. I'm sick right now, and I'm pushing through this body language mastery course, and <coughs> it, <coughs> it, is, uh, it is not fun. But I'm a fucking gangster, all right? I'm fucking determined badass, and nothing's going to stop me. You know, believe me, go talk to Charlie from Cultivate Crypto. I'm this fucking crazy determined offline, too. If you if you had a conversation, if you sat at lunch with me and Charlie at Cultivate Crypto and you weren't motivated, by the end of that fucking lunch, you will be hyped. Because I am a fucking animal. Okay, I light a fire under Charlie's ass too. Charlie's a genius, and I'm a genius in my own right as well. But Charlie knows I'm a fucking starter and I'm aggressive as fuck. I go and I go and I go. Let me tell you something. That's why the girls drop the panties with the quickness too, because they like guys like me. They like aggressive guys, leaders that take dominance, that take dominance, that lead the way. All right. The only girls that don't like that are usually broken girls, women that are attached with their femininity. They this kind of riled up passion that I have, they love it. They love it. They, if my girl was here right now, she'd be like, "Fucking, I'm gonna start cleaning and cooking and put on some sexy panties for this man," you know. They like it. Six days a week, execute your strategy because you need one day to recharge. You need one day to clean up the house. If you're not outsourcing that to cleaners, which you can be, it's like ten dollars an hour. To, you need your house cleaned once a week. You pay them ten dollars an hour, forty dollars for four hour deep clean. Make them do laundry. Outsource your laundry if you need to. Okay, um, <clears throat> you know, that is what you need to do. Yeah, is that Russian guy still here? Fucking old, old fucking Ruski complainer. Where's he at? Probably scared his fucking bitch ass away. I hope he's still here listening. I hope you get you got your message you now. All right, I'm still going to shill the course. Actually, I'll fucking shill it one more time. Hey, by the way, go to Barn Life Dating right there. There's a, I'm going to spam the chat. Click on that right there. Click on that, Mr. Ruski. Get your ass into body language mastery for the three weeks of intense one-on-one -on -one coaching like this. If you think this is harsh, don't sign up for body language mastery. I'll tell you that right now because what I say behind the scenes, I got banned from Facebook from my own fucking Facebook group. <laughs> oh, man. Don't, don't fucking, don't get in if, you got, if you're not wanting to change because I will drill it into you, okay? 
Ivor, thank you very much. He says, great show. Got to go milk the cows. Get into the course if you're on the fence. The network alone is worth it. Ivor's linking up with people. Our Navy SEAL went out to see him. Okay? Um, there's no joke. This is no joke at all. Um, six days a week, grind. You grind Monday to Saturday. Sunday, take the day off. Okay? This is a Christian channel. The Lord himself, he rested on Sunday if you're doing this work, you're a god like yourself. Take the Sunday off. Go to church. Call your bitches. Um, get in to uh, bed with a beautiful woman. Sleep until noon. Sleep until 2. Sleep until 6 p.m. if you need to. Okay? But the seventh day, truly do whatever you fucking want to recharge. If you want to sit in bed like I do sometimes and watch anime all day, fucking anime your brains out bro if you want to play video games all day do it if you want to order a pizza and just say fuck it i need to fucking just de-stress that's fine that one day is your day to do whatever you want i don't advise drinking or, or doing drugs on that day um because that is going to affect your performance on the next day you know eating a pizza it's not going to kill you right a personal pizza whatever eating an ice cream sunday not going to kill you going out to going out the out, out back having a loaded baked potato big steak Caesar salads, like two servings of bread, that's not going to kill you. That, that's still food. That's still nutrition. But, you know, alcohol, smoking a lot of weed, hope you're not doing blow, uh, you know, that kind of shit on your seventh day, not a good idea. But sleeping extra, you know, uh, eating, eating naughty food, uh, playing video games, whatever, as long as you can de-stress because you have to lower your cortisol levels cortisol is the stress hormone and the stress hormone clings to fat uh fucking makes your hair fall out it it ruins you and the cortisol hormone causes inflammation as well and inflammation is like one of the biggest sources of all sickness so you do not want to be dealing with any excessive health benefits or anything that is excessively damaging to your health benefits okay don't want to be doing that not at all okay number four we're 57 minutes in looks like looks like a, I, I was i was wrong we got a lot of people here that are still sticking through we are, we're pushing up to 70 here now so maybe uh maybe maybe a few of you guys are got bigger balls than i thought mo c what's up <laughs> sorry See, I'm fucking sick as a dog, and I'm still doing my course promotion. I'm still doing shows. I could easily go sit down in the bedroom and feel sorry for myself. Look, look at how much fucking tissue I've been blowing my fucking nose into. There's some, there's some like uh, this juice pack in there as well. But this is how fucking sick I am, and I'm still fucking doing it. But you guys, you guys. Somebody tells you you're a fucking loser. You get rejected by one girl or your boss talks to you in one way. And you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to go home and jerk off and cry myself to sleep. It's pathetic. It's fucking pathetic. Sorry. I, listen, you will look back on this fucking show one day and you will know that if you took action, you'll be like, I'm glad that angry man on the Internet screamed at me. <laughs> Okay, you will be fucking thrilled. Number four, okay? Number four is very important, and I want you to pay attention. If you don't fucking do number four, you're cutting corners, and it's really not, it's just really a bad thing. Eric Von Willis is gross, dude. Dude, I fucking know, man. I have to live with this shit, okay? I have to live with this shit. I fucking know it's gross. I'm the one shooting goddamn liquids out of my body fucking for the past seven days. Or when, when did I get sick? What's today? Monday? I got sick on, I got sick like on fucking Thursday. You know, I got a, I had a, I had a fucking 40 degree temperature the other day. 40 degrees Celsius. It's like, no, it's 39. 39 degrees Celsius, 102 degree fever. Dude, I was dying, man. That shit, excuse me, that shit fucking sucked. <gasps> Thank God there was a lady here to take care of me. She she nursed me back to health. Yeah, I drink ginger. I I uh Sharif Imhotep. I drink ginger. She she I make this ginger tea. New headline: Angry man yells at camera. 
<laughs> Somebody meme me. <laughs> Angry man yells at camera. <laughs> oh, God in heaven. Jacob says, here's the deal. I almost died in my sleep from a random seizure. I have a second chance in life and I'm not going to waste it. Good stuff. Beautiful. Guys watching on Instagram, which is nobody, so fuck off. <laughs> All right. They left. <laughs> uh, Instagram feed is closing in one minute and 40 seconds if you happen to hear this on a delay. Um, number four. Okay, there's seven here. So number four. Number four is very important, okay? Track your results. Track your results, okay? If you're trying to lose weight, you need to get on that scale. You need to do what I say every morning. As some people say, don't weigh yourself every day. Shut the fuck up, okay? It is a scientific brain fart. It is so clear as day. Know that if you track on a daily basis, you're going to have more data to understand which direction you're heading. You get on the scale every day in the morning. You, you wake up. This is what you do. You wake up, you take shit, you take a piss, you... Get all the fluids out of your body. You don't drink any water, nothing. You wash your hands, you dry your hands off, and you go hop on the scale. You look at the weight, you take your pen, you write it on the calendar. You do that every single day. Every single day you do that. There's no excuse. If you want to save money, okay, Tell me how many of you guys have done this because I've done this, all right? Track everything you spend for a month. Every single day, every receipt you get, every time you spend money, take it, write it down. Uh, NY Kim, come to YouTube. I had one second to tell him. It's over. Oh, well. Sorry, buddy. Um, Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like two more people signed up for body language mastery. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Christopher, congratulations. Christopher got into body language mastery. Let me see who's it. Let me just check here. Chaos. Oh, I'm not going to read his email. Okay. Yeah, Christopher got in. Let's see who got in. Uh, looks like, oh, okay. Look like Jacob. I think you went through Richard's, uh, link. Good for you. Richard's the man. And Rebs, I don't know who that is. They got into, oh, that's probably the Benjamin guy. <clears throat> yep. Nope. Just keep on coming in. Track your results is extremely important. Track your, track your spending every day. I challenge you to do that. Track your spending every single day. Tell me if you can even do Tell me if you even have the discipline to do that. If you can track your spending every single day, you'll see how much you're spending, how much you are earning, right? Track all your income every single day. Do it on your iPhone, on the notepad. Do it on Excel if you're, um, if you're computer literate like that. But track your results. See you later, Bo. Take care. Good luck on the cardio. Um, track your results. If you don't track your results, then you can't get accurate feedback. If you can't get accurate feedback, there's no point in you tracking or doing anything. Because if you don't track your results, okay, if you do not track your results, then you're not going to know where you stand. You're not going to know where you are. You're not going to know where you're fucking going. Okay? You're just not. It's not going to happen. The reason I ask you to track your results is because you need to know, is your plan efficient or is your plan inefficient? Okay? If you're trying to lose weight and you're tracking your plan and you're like, every day, guess what? Oh, my God, I'm not losing weight. Then guess what? Your plan fucking sucks and it's not working. At all. It's 
Sachin with the solid advice again. Use Mint to track your expenses. It's free and easy to use. Very good application. Track your results. Okay? If you're trying to go out with a date with a girl and you're getting a bunch of first dates, but you're not getting a bunch of second dates, something's wrong with your fucking dating your dating approach. You're creeping them out on the diet. Okay? On the diet. Sorry, I was read somebody. You're, you're creeping them out on the date. I was reading what uh, Chemi was writing there. He says, I track my spending, sleep, and diet. Chat throws me off a lot, but I'll, it's all good. I'll keep going. Um, yeah, if you're not, if you don't track your spending, if you don't track your weight, if you don't track your dates, you're not going to get better. You may notice over time, but it's better for you to start tracking from the beginning. Right? Track your results, which leads me to number five. <clears throat> After tracking your results, you have to analyze your feedback and decide, am I going in the right direction or am I going in the incorrect direction? Okay? Am I, is my plan correct? Is my plan working or is my plan incorrect? Is my plan not working? All right? That is a huge difference there. Number five, you need to reassess your plan every one, three, and six months. <clears throat> Lifting weights in the beginning. Let's say you're a fat fucker, right? And you're trying to lose weight. And initially, going to the gym three times a week, only eating, you know, 1,800 calories a week or 1,800 calories a day, right? See you later, Chemi. Only lifting uh, three days a week and only running, you know, four days a week. After one month, your body is going to get used to it. After three months, your body's definitely going to get used to it. And you're going to start plateauing. And that's when you're going to have to start changing up your plan. As your skill level increases, the difficulty of your strategy must also increase. I used to be thrilled, okay? Let me tell you something. I'm 33, right? When I was 30, just three years ago, I was thrilled to make $50 an hour, okay? $50 an hour at a corporate English teaching gig in Japan, I would show up, I would teach English for a couple hours to a group of Japanese executives, and I would be absolutely thrilled. $50 an hour was a lot of money for me back then. Now, $50 an hour is just not my cup of tea. I just don't want to do it. It's just, it's beyond me. I really, I rather not do it. You know, my going rate now, obviously my consultation rate's low for a reason, but by the end of this year, my consultation rate's going up to at least $200 an hour um, because I know where my value is. <clears throat> if I were to continue just doing $50 an hour, I wouldn't progress. I wouldn't learn. I wouldn't know what to do in order to grow in this area of my life. Same thing with you. As your skill level increases, you have to increase the difficulty of your strategy. What do you think? Is it easier to get people to pay $50 an hour or $200 an hour? You tell me. After you create your strategy and you're executing, reassess it every one, three, and six months. You don't necessarily need to change it, but just look at your plan, determine if you're happy with the results you're getting, and if you're not, make a change. If you are happy, then you're good to go. Okay? Number six. Number six. This one is extremely important. And number six factors into number two and number three. More, more importantly, number three which number three was execute your strategy six days a week. 
okay? Number six is continuously study the field that you want success in, okay? Guys, I am constantly trying to improve this show. As you can see, I was not happy with the, the background, so I just decided to get a green screen. Um, far better. I'm going to actually add some digital anim animations. I have them in the process of being developed right now by some some Indian dude. Um, but, you know, there's going to be eventually like Modern Life Dating logo up here. And this is also for my Twitch streaming so that I'm actually embedded in the game. And then like when you do, uh, when I do screen shares, I lo it looks like I'm on the screen and it just looks better overall, right? I'm studying my field. What is my field? Content creator, right? I'm a content creator. That's all. That's really what I am. I just happen to, instead of making videos that are just mindless entertainment, I'm making educational entertainment, right? With a with a, my my little spin on it, you know, the Jonathan from Modern Life Dating spin. The the angry man shouting at camera spin. <laughs> see? And I got angry and hyped up at the beginning for a reason. I wanted to chase away the guys that didn't want to stay. Okay? Because I hate fucking talking to guys, giving advice, and them not taking action. That's why I got mad at Eric. Eric, I hope you're listening, because Eric, after I fucking got mad at him for giving him all the free consultations and everything, he deleted all his social media, went out and got a job, and hit me up the other day on Instagram and on, on Skype. He's like, he sent me a picture of him at his work uniform, he's like, hey, just so you know, I'm working 40 hours a week now. I really took your took your advice. I'm getting my shit together. And Eric, if you're listening, you still got a long way to go. But you did a good job. And um, that's why I just, I hate, because I gave him advice and he didn't fucking take my advice. And that pisses me off. And I gave it to him for free, which is a big mistake of mine. That's every time I give somebody advice for free, they never fucking take it or they never respect me. And that's just human psychology 101. And that's part of me reassessing my strategy. Now I know. No free, no free consultations. Some fucking people are like, hey, man, uh, I'm. I, can you feel sorry for me? I'm disabled and I need to get into the body language course and this and that. I'm like, no. No. Absolutely not. Because you're just going to not value it because you got it for free. And then you're going to go out to the world and be like, well, yeah, the course wasn't that good. Blah, blah, blah. Because you didn't fucking pay for it. You don't pay if you don't pay for something. You don't value it. That's why we flush water down the toilet every day because we don't fucking value it. We, sh we literally shit into water because it's fucking everywhere. Do you shit into a brick of gold and flush it down the toilet? No. Why? Because gold is valuable. It's rare and it's certainly not as cheap or free like water is. Okay, do you wipe your ass with diamonds? I'm definitely. Sh I'm pretty sure you don't. Maybe Muhammad does because he's fucking rich as shit in the Middle East. But other than him, no one else. But continuously studying the field that you want success in is, is really something that most people don't do, okay? You need to consistently be looking to educate yourself in the area that you want to be excellent in. Your area is always evolving. Like Sachin is in the um, – he's in the pain medication business, Right? Pain medication is always changing. There are always some new pain medication. There's like, you know, they're creating new non-invasive ways to administer injections now. Um, there are <coughs> new fields of anesthesia, of anesthesia being developed every single time. Um, there are new drugs coming out. There are new regulations coming out. If Sachin decided that, hey, I'm just going to fuck off and be okay with my skill set at this level, guess what? Your skills, no matter who you are, your skills are slowly deteriorating as the world progresses. So if you're not consistently with, um, if you're not consistently educating yourself on the marketplace or, or, or the, the field that you want success in, then you're not going to get it. Or it's going to be way fucking harder because you might be doing outdated techniques. Okay? If you're wanting to be successful in um in weight loss and you're not constantly reading up new research you know right now everybody's starting to realize that fasting is like 
I mean, it's been known forever that fasting is good for you, but um, people are not realizing that uh, you know fasting is 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 literally one of the ways to like use fat to cleanse your body. Oh, Sachin says I'm not in it yet. I'm applying for fellowship training in pain medicine. I'm doing my residency in rehabilitation medicine right now. Okay, I do remember that you uh, were heading towards. I, I remember just definitely. I thought you were working with pain medicine, um, but you're heading towards that field. Which either way is a great field. I mean, people love popping pills, so you're gonna be rich man, no problem. This guy's a guy that's fucking killing it too. Good looking kid, Indian kid in uh, Canada, murdering it in uh, Richard Cooper's group as well. Okay, but if you're not consistently studying in the field that you want to be in, uh, it, it you're 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 ice skating uphill. You're making things way harder than they need to be. Okay, which leads us to number seven. Number seven is the most important part. Okay, and here's why. Number seven is get a mentor get a mentor all right and a lot of you guys may be thinking oh here he comes he just wants to tell us to buy a consultation or get into body language mastery that's why he's saying it no you dumb shit all right since the beginning of time mentorship has been a thing. If you wanted to learn to be a blacksmith, you went and worked with a blacksmith. If you wanted to learn to be a baker, you went and worked with a baker. If you wanted to be a scientist, you went and go to. You wanted to go to. If you wanted to be a scientist, you went and worked with a scientist. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have a mentor, doing it on your own is going to be exponentially harder. Why do you think I fucking hang out with millionaires as often as I can? Because I'm not a millionaire. And the millionaire data that they have up here is better than my six-figure-a-year data that I have up here. Okay? I want that seven-figure-a-year data. They have it. Okay? If you don't have... The, if you don't fucking, if you don't have somebody to guide you, it's just going to be way harder, okay? Trying to figure out this YouTube stuff on my own for the first three years was so fucking difficult. Finally, I talked to Donovan. And Donovan was told me, you need to make a live stream show. You need to do this, this, and this. My life, my show has not, my show is not even six months old. Okay. My show is not even six months old and it has changed my fucking life. Just changing this format and going to the live format. Right. Huge difference. Absolutely huge difference. Unactive, just please stop talking about that, mate. Just you're just deterring the the conversation, okay? Please, please stop talking about that. It's just it's it's completely unnecessary. Thank you. I appreciate that you're a member of this chat, but when you distract the direction of the show, um, it's just I, I I maybe I don't know what your beef is, but this is not the place, man. Start a blog, make your own YouTube channel, go go talk shit there, but not here, please, sir. Thank you very much. When I was learning how to get my game really down packed, okay, I had met Tim. If you guys read my blog, you know about Tim. Tim couldn't fucking type to save his life. Tim had the dorkiest fucking mohawk haircut ever, but women loved him. He just had this aura about him that just pulled women in like no other it it was something i could not even it, at that point in my life now i have that 
But at that point in my life, I could not believe what I had seen. And this is when I was working at the nightclub. And it's funny. Everybody was hating on Tim. Everybody was talking shit about him behind my, behind his back to me. I straight up went to Tim. I was like, dude, you need to teach me what the fuck you know. But he was just a natural alpha. And he told me, just be yourself, man. And I was just like, motherfucker, that's not been working. <laughs> You know, he was so good, he didn't know how good he was. And Tim's a fucking man. Tim is the fucking man. And I followed him around. I lifted weights with him. I talked with him for the longest time. And when I li- when that guy was just so alpha too, man, that guy was like, you just had to do what he said when you're around him or it was going to be in trouble. That guy was just a natural born leader. And he just had peak hot hot girls coming after him all the fucking time and i decided to learn from him i decided to learn from him and it's just unbelievable how how good he is tommy bahama says i'm at work learning a new job so i can't listen live but the stuff in this course is crazy i've already watched it twice you guys better sign up you guys heard the man I'm telling you, man, the value that I'm giving you in this course, really the value is in the webinars. And you click on that link right there. Modernlifedating.teachable.com forward slash body language. Click on the link. Link's in the description box as well for you guys watching on the replay. Get your fucking ass in there. It's $400. It's $100 a week. It's nothing. It's pennies, okay? It's absolute fucking pennies. Get in. Trust me when I say, get in. It'll change your fucking life. Get a mentor. I'm doing three weeks of mentorship. Twice a fucking day. Scruffy Turner says, I'm back. I got the job and my vacation. Congratulations, my man. You are fucking moving up in the world. Maybe bring Tim in for an interview. Do Tim has disappeared into ether, man. Tim, I can't find him. Um... Seth Gibson says, definitely looking forward to the webinars. Picked up Body Language Mastery yesterday. Totally worth it. I'm telling you guys, I I saw some people in in the comments of Donovan's show and Richard's show. They were like, well, body language, what is this? Ha, 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 ha. They don't get it. They don't get it. This is top tier, top level shit. I'm not joking when I said this is going to increase your closing rate by at least 10%. This will start with helping you get tons of sex to the point that you're fed up with fucking a lot of girls and you'll want to move on to something else. And that is my fucking goal. But if you don't have a mentor, if you don't have somebody guiding you, if you don't have somebody teaching you what to do and where to do it, how to do it, how to reassess what you're doing, letting you know, hey, this absolutely doesn't fucking work. Instead of you thinking, oh, well, I read this book. Maybe this is going to work. And then you go out and waste your time and you do it and it doesn't fucking work. And then you're like, well, fuck, now do I, what do I do next? You're just wasting time in the wild, wildly swinging a sword, trying to hit a target. Just, I don't, uh, da, 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 da. you don't know what you're doing. It's not a good thing. It's a waste of time. Congratulations, Scruffy Turd. Glad to see that you're attending and showing up and making things work. Especially now that the webinars are going to be recorded, you're making a gold mine, MLD. I know. I do. Are you planning on doing texting game lessons? Jacob, listen, man. You just show up to the fucking webinars and you'll see how they're run. It is a fucking wild, wild west free for all. It is a bonanza. And uh, you're not going to want to miss it. <clears throat> Charlie, Charlie from Cultivate Crypto is going to be in there too for you guys that want to learn your cryptocurrency game. It says, all guys... Who have gotten in received way more value than they expected for sure. Right there. Thank you, Vincent Vale. You're the man. So, get a mentor. You don't believe me? Type into Google. Does a mentor speed up your success? Right? Rob Cruz says, shake my head, 60-70% of communication is through body language, cultural competence, and most cultures hardly speak. We had to learn this stuff in the Middle East and Afghanistan. 
Everyone needs to learn this. Peter S. says, books can bring you so long. I wasted two years reading books and now I recently just started taking action. Betmaster says, bathrobe goblin. Oh, that's one of uh, Gay Lube Oil's little homosexual lovers. Gay Lube Oil pumps him in the butt and he likes it. Enjoy your lifetime ban, loser. <laughs> Join Body Language Mastery. Oh, wait, you follow Gay Lube Oil. You don't have $400 to spend. You're a fucking loser. Dan Hamlet says, I'll make sure I've completed the course by July 9th. Yes. Good stuff. Guys, get a mentor. This is the fastest way to speed up your results. This is the fastest way to get knowledge that you cannot even find that are in books. Because the people who decide to write books, these are not the end-all, be-all educational sources. A lot of people have so much more mental resources up here that they forget even to put on paper form, okay? So don't waste any time. Get a mentor. It will cut your learning curve by 50%. Rob Cruz says this course will teach you not just about women, but people in general. Absolutely. Especially if you're a sales guy or your your, your job is people-based, you could size fuckers up. Dude, this is a superpower. This is a goddamn superpower. <clears throat> that being said, let's let's reiterate what we have here. Number one, clearly define what you want. Number two, define a strategy to achieve what you want. Number three, execute your strategy six days a week. Number four, track your results. Number five, reassess your plan every one, three, and six months. Adjust if necessary. Number six, continuously study the field that you want success in. This should be done during your six days a week. Number seven, get a mentor. Precisely says 297 or 397. It is 397, okay? Because it was 297 quarter one, 397 quarter two, and somebody just signed up for Body Language Mastery right there. Good to go. Um, quarter three, precisely, it's going up to 497. Quarter four, 597. 2020, program is done. No more webinars. No more access to the Facebook group. Okay? I'm creating an elite group of men. This is a very, very meticulous thing that I'm doing. And I've been saying this since, since February 1st. I've been promoting the Body Language Mastery course. Okay? I'm guessing a paid mentor is the best bet. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But... You just got to make sure you're, the most important thing is a competent member, a competent uh, mentor. Super Gecko says, I don't have a lot of money and live in a country with a shit economy and I'm still getting it. Super Gecko, I'll make sure you get the fucking value. I will make sure. Lewis says, I bought a four hour consultation with Jonathan. It is essential that I have a mentor guide me and track my progress. And guess what? Lou spent. $300 on fucking body language mastery. Got it got in 297. He got a couple consultations with me that was like around give or take a little about $500. But Lou is in the process of negotiating a huge salary increase, way much more than he invested in the body language mastery and the consultations with me. Lou is a man that's 50 years old and I'm helping him out with my recruitment experience and employment experience because I used to work in the recruitment industry. So I know how to prep people for job interviews, how to leverage offer letters and extract as much salary from a company as possible because I don't give a fuck about corporations. I say pay people as much as possible as long as they're doing the right job and they're good people, which Lou is. Masculine Mentality says, for every champion to unlock his true potential, he needs to be the apprentice of a skilled master. You're such a smart kid. Great English. Beautifully put. For a 17-year-old kid whose English is not even his first language. That's wonderful English there, my friend. Great stuff, Hans. Thank you. Peter S. says, I'll post a summary of the rules in the Facebook group. Good stuff, man. Thank you. Christian Martin says, I want to get better. I need to get better. Time to take action. Yeah, Christian Martin, I think... You got into body language mastery. I know you booked a consultation. Yeah, good stuff, Jacob. Good stuff. 
So guys, that's going to do it. Um, one more time. Here we are. Get into body language mastery. One hour, 11, one day, 11 hours, 26 minutes, 27 seconds left. Get in there now. You're going to want to go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Scroll down. Click on this link right here. This is going to take you to Teachable. Modernlifedating.teachable.com forward slash P forward slash body language. Click right here. Enroll in course for three ninety seven, dollars And this gets you a head-to-toe breakdown of the entire female body. Here's the, here's the explanation of the course. Course introduction, meet Judy. Module 1, the head. Module 2, torso and the arms. Module 3, the hands. Module 4, the legs. I'll be adding more to the legs. And then after you're able to take all this in, right, this is going to be about an hour of study. And then you can watch it again and again. Then... Uh, what you're going to do next is wait until July 9th. That's when we get the webinars going. The webinars will be twice a day from July 9th to the end of July. Really, I'm going to grind. I'm giving out so much fucking value in that alone. And then you get lifetime access to the men's only Facebook group where we get to discuss. We're well, going to get to discuss um Sorry, I was waiting for the animation music to finish. You get into the men's only Facebook group where we discuss what's going on in regards to um, whatever's going on in your life, dating, sex, relationships. That that group has become a hive mind on its own. It is kind of taken off. I'm just overseeing everything, make sure nobody's giving out bad advice. We got some super, super shadow pimps in there, guys who like not on social media, but they're just like, they just spit game in real life. And it is fucking unreal. The level of pimping up in that course, man. Up up in the up in that fucking uh up in that whole um oh. <clears throat> community. My boy my boy Jean Franco from Canada. This guy's a fucking attorney. He's forty years old, great shape, just an absolute vagina slayer. This guy is such a slick rick. He's really good. Xavier's really good, our French pimp. Um, he's really good at text game. Fred was asking about text game. He's really fucking good. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, Peter S. says it right there. Get a mentor who has what you want. Exactly. Uh, Christian Martin, did you get into body language mastery? Get your ass in. Um, Dan Hamlin says, you know John's the real thing when he's helping people double his age. Yes, and it doesn't matter. If you come, you want to learn, I got you. Is it too late to sign up? No, it is not, Diary of a Black Nerd. Click on that link right there. Click on that link. You got one day and 12 hours, but take action. Fucking get in there right now. Click on that link. That'll get you into Body Language Mastery. They will lock and load your secured spot in the course. When do you start filtering people out for the Facebook group? July 9th, as I mentioned in the emails. Are you in Ash Kneecaps? Let me, I don't know. Let me know. But that's going to do it, guys. Um, check me out tomorrow here. We will do the final countdown to Body Language Mastery. Closing for quarter two permanently. No pity getting in. Nothing. No sob stories. Nothing at all. You get in now. Or you wait until quarter three and you pay $497 to get in then. Until then, I'll see you ladies and gentlemen tomorrow. Peace out.